How's it going everybody? Uh, welcome to another Excel tutorial. Um, I'm trying to steer away from uh, tutorials where we just talk about formulas and functions and that boring kind of stuff. I want to do more of creating applications in Excel and, and stuff you can actually use uh, every day, day to day. And um, it's basically why I want to build my website around this as well. I thought I'd do a couple of videos of some cool applications that we can use every day and um, this is one of the first ones I uh, wanted to build and it's based on calculating your personal income tax in South Africa for instance well this one is uh, for South African income tax tables and you know you look around and you can't really find a application or a um, you can find tools online but they don't have they don't show you how to actually calculate your tax so this is what this aims to do. Uh, we'll be using nested if statements in Excel. And another little addition that I wanted to put on is the tax deductible stuff that you might get month to month and how that affects your tax. For instance, I get um, the food, I've got a food card at work and that's tax deductible. And if I increase the value of that food card, it comes off my, off my salary and my tax decreases. So this is like, you'll be able to create, create scenarios using this application, and you'll be able to see how, um, when you change your tax deductible expense, how it affects your your income at the end of the month. Let's get into it. Um, so if we move on to our dashboard, you'll see that we've got a income tax table here. This is the South African income tax table for the financial year 2017. And you can see the different income bands over here, 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 and you can see how the tax is calculated. So it's 18% of taxable income. This you, uh, yeah, this you have a base income tax amount, and then 26% of the taxable income above 188, and so forth. So the calculation looks something like this. All right, it does look uh, quite intimidating. It's a nested if statement. It's pretty straightforward to follow. Literally, this is your first if statement, all right? And Excel is pretty kind enough to show you the logical test, the value of true, value of false, all right? Now, for a nested if statement, we, uh, for instance, if we used in this in this circumstances, we'll be not having if a value is false, we'll be having another if statement, all right? And it just continues on and on and on and on, and you can make it long and pretty as as, as long as you like, all right? So. Let's work with 300,000 Rand pre-tax salary, okay? That would fall into this income tax bracket over here. So we'll say if C4, which is this amount, is less than these boundaries over here. Because it's 300,000 Rand, it would fall into this bracket over here. So it'll be less than this boundary, 406,401. Then you'll times it by 31% and you'll add your base tax. All right. So for instance, we'll be looking at, at this if statement over here. You'll literally build each and every single if statement. Um, I just want to show you which one you're looking at. So if C4 is less than G22, which is this G22 over here, you fall into this tax bracket. You'll then say C4, which is a salary amount, less H20. H20 is your upper boundary of the previous bracket because you want to know what, how much greater you are than that value over there and then only you times about 31%. Okay, times about 31%, which is J21, plus I21, which is your base amount. Then you have to minus your tax rebate. This is what, what people usually forget. Each and every single person gets a tax rebate, and you have to d minus that from your taxable amount. All right, and then uh, that's pretty much it. So you'll you'll see which tax bracket you fall into. We fall into this one here. You decrease three hundred thousand from two hundred ninety-two thousand. That gives us six thousand four hundred, and you'll times that by thirty-one, and you'll add that minusing your primary and then you get this yearly tax divided by 12 you get monthly tax yearly income is essentially your pre-tax salary minus your yearly tax 
and your monthly income is that divided by 12. All right, so if we move on to calculating how your deductible expense affects your income tax, we can use the following setup over here. You'll get your pre-tax salary, which is your salary over here, but then you minus your deductible, deductible expense, because this is coming off your salary anyway. For, for instance, I use a food card, and if that if I increase the amount of money I put on that food card, that's obviously going to come off my income, but it's before tax, so I'm going to be paying less tax at the end of the at the end of the day. That's exactly what this calculation does. So we're talking about the same formula as over here, based on your pre-tax salary, less your deductible expense, and you'll be able to see what your savings are. So if I increase this amount here to a thousand rand my pre-tax salary has decreased by 12,000 Rand. So I've got 300,000 Rand minus 1,000 Rand. This is monthly, so we times about 12, and we get our pre-tax salary. So you, you're gonna calculate your new taxable amount on that smaller salary, and that's obviously gonna decrease your, your tax. So this is a very handy way of figuring out how much money you can actually save by increasing your deductible expenses. You could use this for uh, retirement annuities, pension funds, food cards, travel claims, whatever whatever you can think of. It's just uh, it's good to know because not many people know that they get these tax benefits and they don't know that they can actually increase these tax benefits and um, benefit from it. But if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, I know I rushed through this, but uh, yeah, let me know. Thanks, guys. Cheers.